Put your hands behind your back. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Let me see your hands. Sir, get on the ground. What are you, 12? I'm actually 13. Get on the ground. <laughs> So today is a bit of a holiday special. What are we doing, Mr. Ted? We're going to go and pick up Christmas tree. We located one. And what, what day is it today? Today is December 23rd. Two days before Christmas. We're getting our Christmas tree. Yeah. All right. I don't know a lot about trees, but apparently that one, first one with the blue tag, it's a better quality tree. They smell really delicious. All of them do. What up? Christmas shopping. Okay, so this one is the right one. Mr. Cream, you're gonna do the negotiations. That tree sucks. Why? It's small. See, it grow a lot quicker. I don't think that that... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's 12 feet now. You're going to go up there. We're ready to make a deal. <laughs> We're gonna get this one. And now the negotiating starts. Ted is a fierce negotiator for Christmas trees. He's done this year after year. Gotten a good deal every single time. What's the deal with this tree? What do you mean, what's the deal with this tree? How much is it? 175. 175. 175, is that your best? Yeah, that's my best. Can you do better than that? No, not on this tree. How about 150? 160. 160? How about 2,500? You're going the wrong way. No. So, Dude, Christmas is in two days. I'd give 50 bucks for this tree. <laughs> Still, 150? 150? We have a deal. And for that reason, I'm out. Well, actually, no, you got the tree. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't pay 150 for that tree. <laughs> it's a beautiful tree. And more importantly, we got it for a beautiful price. Discounted price. We use a group on. <laughs> One can of beans, one potato and can of beans. Okay. How much? 168.85. Why? What is, why it goes to? Sales tax. Oh, you charge sales taxes? Of course no. we charge sales tax. We never pay sales taxes on a Christmas tree. <laughs> you need to pay your taxes, daddy. Okay. This is for you. This oh, is thank you, sir. Tip. Merry Christmas. Merry it's Christmas. Christmas. It's perfect. For the menorah. We're not playing the menorah. Why not? We're diverse. Well, how do you feel, Ted? I feel really good that we got uh, a Christmas tree. I expected Krim to do the negotiations, but... You didn't uh, give me a chance. You said 150 before I could say like 75 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> we got a small one this year, Mom. I hope not. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. God, Dad is so weak. <laughs> Dad, you're not, you're not even <laughs> doing anything. Turn this tree It's good! Opa! Opa! I'm ready to leave this family. What did you say, Krim? Say, God, but I love this family. Oh, you better do! I'm gonna let this Christmas tree open up. In the meantime, I am gonna go pick up little Joe. We're gonna head over to Gingerbread Tropical Fish and Coral, and we're gonna start making some really cool aquarium-themed Christmas decorations. This kid, man, Joe brings donuts every single time. Are we going to the gingers? We're going to the gingers today. I'm making some, what are those called? Light bulb aquarium. Joe, settle this for the viewers once and for all. What's with the donut? Are you, do I don't you know, it's just like one time I got it. Just I always have to get now it. Now you have to, yeah. Dude, what? Dude, there's a chip on it. You chipped your tank? I think it was John though. John who? John Wick? You think? John, my brother. Oh. This is like a legitimate. Do you think it cracked through the middle? I'm Dude, why do you still have the stickers on here? Because <laughs> the clownfish love to hide behind them. Really? Oh, that's so weird. Tell me, what's, what's been going on with your saltwater tank, Joe? Give us an update. So it's been, it's really foggy right now, but <laughs> corals are doing great. How long have you had this tank? When did we, when did I Aquashello. get this? Aqua shell. We gave Aqua this shell. to you September 28th. How are you liking salt water? It's expensive. It's expensive? Yeah. You've been having to sell a lot of lemonade? Yes. For three months? Like, your tank doesn't look that bad. My it's tank, really too cloudy, though. It's a little cloudy. You could get some carbon, but in, after three months, like, when I was closer to your age, did not look this good. Your My what? temperature gun. What? I always keep this on me at all times. What? You have, what is it? A temperature gun? Keep that in your, in your yeah. leg like that? It's like I'm the police for water changes. 73! 73! All 73s. Can you see your hands? <laughs> What's with this tank? I don't know, I just switched it up. Put all those rocks up there, got new rocks. The Dragonstone? I think so, yep. Dude, this is amazing. Joe, how old are you again? 21. 21? 21. You 13 with this many tanks? Aww. Should I open it here or at the store? Open it here. Joe, thank you. This is more merch? Yep. Joe is hooking us up with the official Coralfish 12G merch. I'm gonna throw that on like right now. What is it? Dude, 
<laughs> is this a hydro blast? I'm a visco girl now. So I broke up with her. Um, she didn't take it that well. I mean, she threw this at my head. No, it's not a hydro blast. It's even better than that. It's a water bottle with the uh, with the photo of us from when we gave you this tank. Yeah. Found it. That's sick, man. Follow Joe the Fish Guy on Instagram and YouTube. I'll put his channel link in the description below. All right, Joe. Here we go. We're on our way now to Gingerbread Tropical Fish and Coral. Yep. So tell me, how's school going? Terrible. Why? I don't know. I'm too cool for school. Is this tequila? This is the song tequila. Where it goes. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Can you turn it up, please? This beat's about to drop. Vodka! All right, we're here at Gingerbread Tropical Fish and Coral. This is the mission, Joe. Yeah. Find the dealer, infiltrate the supplier. Yep. Find the supplier, infiltrate the dealer. You give me two gingerbread cookies, dead or alive, I will get you your rainbow guppies. Okay. Ready? Go, 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 go! Let me see your hands! Put your hands behind your back! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Let me see your hands! Get on the ground! Sir, get on the ground! What are you, 12? I'm actually 13! Get on the ground! What about him? What about him? Get on the, get on the ground now! Where's the register? Yes, do you do? Where's the register? Where's the key? Get on the ground. <laughs> What's their temperature, Joe? What's their temperature? 90. You guys just stay here. Terrible fish. Terrible livestock. <laughs> you see your hands. They're fighting back. <laughs> Redhead. So we just fish is the only thing <laughs> This is way too many donuts. Cause bats. Bats. Do you have lice? No. Good, cause I have it. Uh, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be setting up these things, which are, they're called luminariums. They're basically like light bulb aquariums. Joe actually got me this as like a Christmas gift. It was a good gift. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get you one, and then we're going to do a video where we create these together. So let's get into it. <laughs> So guys, we're just gonna take this out of the box. Really nice, very fragile it looks like. Um, should we wash this out before? Do you guys have a faucet here? Oh, you guys have a sink. Okay guys, I'll be back. They're basically light bulbs that you put fish and like stuff in. Not fish, because they're kind of small, but, but mostly like plants. Shrimp maybe? Shrimp, some small crabs, nails, algae. Algae's a good one. We're gonna be putting a lot of algae in these today. Here, why don't you go rinse these out, Joe? You know what this is? George, I just dropped one. Oh, you're right there. The first thing we need to do is just Rinse these out a little bit, just make sure they're all clean and sterilized. Oh, beer on Friday night. And the radio. They are all rinsed out. This is the most important part. When you are walking, you gotta drip them all over, all over, everywhere. If you're lazy, you can use this to dry them off. Once you have your luminariums rinsed out, you're ready to start putting stuff in them. Here. I'm probably gonna go fresh water. Cause I am a freshwater stud. Scrub. Stud. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make mine salt water because I'm a salt water stud. Scrub. Aw, so cute. I am gonna send you to detention. Really? Really? So we also have in the box, this looks like an outlet, like a plug and you can screw it into the ceiling. Like if you guys can see up there. They can't. This is what it hangs from. This also has like the light in it guys. This will just hang and it'll go <coughs> inside of there actually. So we got the sand and the gravel here. We're ready to put them in our luminarium. Finger and just kind of spritz kinda, it in there. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that's too much sand? I added a little too much sand. I'm just joking. I actually, I want more sand. I like sand. Like, okay, that's that's not gonna fit. Uh, Joe. Right now, I'm just putting some rocks and driftwood in there. I tried fitting the these rocks and it didn't work. Great. I'm just gonna go straight to the algae. So since I'm going to salt water out, none of these rocks are gonna fit. I got some macroalgae from Algae Barn. This video is not sponsored by Algae Barn, but they did tell me to let you know uh, that they are running a contest for a massive dream aquarium. So I'll leave a link to that down below if you're interested in winning an awesome, cool new aquarium. They're also doing a 12 days of Christmas sale, so check that out. They sent me all their different kinds of macroalgae. I think this one is gonna look the prettiest to beat Joe in this challenge. This is the pom pom macro. What's a macroalgae? Macroalgaes are a salt water algae that are actually good for your aquarium. They absorb nutrients. As these things are just hanging and floating and accumulating nutrients, this macroalgae will actually filter it out a little bit. If you want, you can take some of these home. Wait, for real? Do I just throw them in my tank and that's it? Pretty much that simple. That's how easy it is? Macroalgaes are awesome, dude. I'm kind of regretting going 
in fresh water right now because these algaes are looking so good. We could switch this up real quick. I know, we gotta do a contest. Fresh water, salt water is better. Well, salt water is better. Really? Okay, I'm gonna take some of this pom pom. Let's just throw that in there. Some of this macro algae. Not too much because I want to leave a little bit of room for potentially like a little crab or something. But that looks, that looks decent. That's cool. Dude, you look so good. What am I supposed to do now? I'm not going to win then. First of all, it's not all about winning. I tend to win in everything I do. So you didn't really stand a chance from the beginning. But instead of this being just a challenge, we obviously want to make these the best Christmas luminariums ever made. Mine's going to be white and red and yours is going to be black and green. So you know what you need? Plants. You need some plants. Joe, pick up any plant you want. I'll buy it for you. You. We're gonna make yours just as epic as mine is. Joe, what if you get some of this? Dude, I like this one. Dude, I really like that. Let's get that. What is that? Chai sword? Chain, Chain sword. Chain sword. Ginger! Guys, we're gonna look for the wild ginger right now. I see them. Yeah. It's the right there. The I'm on this ship. We're just gonna it. buy me a plant. Okay. Put it on my tab. Okay. Should I just put my hand in? Yeah, grab it. It's not gonna eat you. And we might just take some lumps in, of that and just rip it apart. It's definitely gonna be really hard to put all the roots down in there. Oh shoot, there's a hole in this. No! So don't overflow these because they do have little holes in them for the air. Joe's having a bit of a rough time here with his luminarium. He's getting really stressed out about it, so I'm trying to help him. Time for me to fill mine up with water. Oh, actually, mine's peeing too. George, no! Oh no! I put too much sand in it! I knew that was too much sand. Probably just gonna fill, fill this up right now. Because, is it clear? Yeah. Should I pour it out again? No, it looks super clear. Leave it. I actually have some diversity in mine. I got plants and everything. He just, he just threw in an algae and called it a day. So this is red ogo macro. Put a little bit of that in there. A little splash of green. Use the glue and glue it to the branch. It just hardens right when I put it. Don't get it on your fingers, though. Dude, you got it on your fingers, didn't Should you? Should go run and wash? Yeah, go wash that show, off. Show, show, your show. fingers are going to be glued together for four days. Oh, there I need to like get some rock in mine, so I'm gonna take this outside. We're gonna smash it uh, so we get some smaller bits that we finished our luminaria. This is mine. I got some pom pom macro algae in there, and I also got some red ogo. Uh, I got a little purple rock and some sand. Pretty basic, pretty basic. Oh, oopsies. Here it is, and I decided to put some driftwood to float in there because I think that'd be really cool. But now that we have escaped our like Christmas ornament, we are gonna hunt in the store here for little inverts that we can put in our tanks. Joe, what do you want to put in there? A little shrimp? Some shrimp? Is there something here? Joe decided to go with a Bloody Mary. Okay, got him. You got one? Yep. All right, let's go. Come on. See him. Oh, yeah, there he is, and he's in. So I'm gonna be putting a little sexy shrimp in mine. This is a saltwater shrimp that's as small as the freshwater shrimp Joe just got. They're called sexy shrimp because they kind of move their bodies, they shake their butt, their tails up in the air. Look at them. Oh. Do you see them? There we go. We've got the power cord, which is the black part, and then also the hanging part, which is gonna hold the loom aquarium up. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the, uh, the loom aquarium and we're gonna attach it to the light. Like a light. So all we have to do is just put it right up on there and we can grab curing screws. All water version is in the air, baby. Let's yep. go. Cue the luminaria montage. These are officially complete. We have two luminariums in their store hang. We got a saltwater version and we have a freshwater version. This is the one I made. It looks pretty cool. It's got the red pom pom and the green ogo algaes in there. These are macro algaes. The small little bits of food that I do feed the sexy shrimp that it doesn't eat. The nutrients that are left over, these algaes will absorb. I forgot to mention I got a little sexy shrimp in there. He's pretty cool. Joe, tell us about yours. This is just some chain moss, gravel, and some triple wood and some rocks in there we got two shrimp in there they're absolutely beautiful do you like my saltwater version or do you like joe's freshwater version better i want you guys to comment down below joe or george who won this competition i think i did thanks so much for watching this video we hope you enjoyed our little holiday special here these turned out to be pretty cool you can buy these on my website coralfishology.com you could also come in store to gingerbread tropical fishing coral and pick them up in here and also make sure to go buy my merch at coralfishology.com i'll leave the link in the description below thanks so much for watching joe with merry christmas dude happy christmas. holidays we wish you guys a merry christmas, christmas. happy merry hanukkah. hanukkah merry kwanzaa and remember, remember to keep, keep those nitrates low. George! 
Au. Au. Merry Chrysler!